this uh, question 38 is based on Fraunhofer diffraction at single slit in which you are supposed to find out the position of the first dark. It says that linear aperture width is given is uh, placed immediately in front of a lens of focal length has been given. The aperture is illuminated normally by a parallel beam so it is a condition of Fraunhofer diffraction. Wavelength is given so distance of the first dark you are supposed to calculate. So this is straightforward formula based question position of the first dark I am using the expression lambda f by aperture. So you have to substitute the values here. You see lambda has been given to be equal to 5 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter. So I can write it as 5 into 10 power minus 7 meter is not it. And uh, focal length is 60 centimeter. So I am writing 60 into 10 power minus 2 meter and this aperture width is given 0 0.02 centimeter. So this is 0 0.02 into 10 power minus 2 meter. So in total you will find that uh, this is minus 9, minus 4, minus 5. So 150 into 10 to the power uh, minus uh, 500 meter. So ultimately it comes out to be 0 0.15, 0 0.15 centimeter. So I will have to look for this kind of value. This is fourth option you can see having the value 0 0.15 centimeter. So I will be marking answer 4 for this question 38. Now let us uh, switch over to next question that is question 39. Now this uh, question 39 which is based on dual nature of radiation and matter and it is using the concept of X-ray tube also. It says that electrons of mass m with de Broglie wavelength lambda fall on the target in an X-ray tube. The cutoff wavelength lambda naught of the emitted X-ray. So first of all try to write down what is the cutoff wavelength for X-ray. This is simply energy equation Hc by energy. You understand? So this is equal to the cutoff wavelength. And what is de Broglie wavelength? De Broglie wavelength lambda is h by p. So you can also write it as h by under root 2 me. So all you have to do is to take out the expression of e from this place and substitute here. Let us suppose you take out the value of e from this place. What do you get? You get simply h square upon 2 m lambda square and you substitute it here. So what do you get? You get lambda naught is equal to hc upon h square and 2m lambda square. So ultimately it comes out to be 2mc lambda square upon h. You will have to look for this kind of expression 2mc lambda square by h. You can see this is the first option which is matching your requirement. So I will be marking answer 1. So answer 1 will be the correct answer for uh, question number 39. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 40. This question 40 is based on photoelectric effect that is Einstein's photoelectric equation will be used here. Photons with energy 5 electron volt what is the photoelectric equation like whatever is the incident energy a part of it goes into work function and rest of this is the kinetic energy of emitted photoelectrons maximum kinetic energy which you say photons with energy 5 electron volt are incident on a cathode in a photoelectric cell the maximum energy of emitted photoelectrons is 2 electron volt so here it is 5 5 plus 2 so you can see the 5 value has been given 3 electron volt work function is 3 electron volt and it will remain constant now when photons of energy 6 electron volt are incident now this time 6 is incident 3 will be gone and kinetic energy is k 3 electron volt. So all the electron volts, the all the electrons which are coming out maximum kinetic energy is 3 electron volt. So the stopping potential will be 3. Now this is the negative potential being applied to A. They are asking you to find out the potential of A relative to C. So A is at negative potential compared to C is not it. So minus 3 volt will be the answer. Your answer will be minus 3 volt. You understand? So now which option is that? Option number 4 is uh, satisfying your requirement. So I will be marking answer 4, option 4 for this question 40, isn't it? Now let us switch over to next question that is question 41.